What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be working on a Samsung S22 Ultra. I preheated the back already so it's all nice and warm ready to ready to come off. So I'll grab my Sesamo there and I'll just gently get in between the back cover and the frame. Once I get that I just get a little piece of plastic card or anything like that. I just slowly run it through all the way around. Now before this video I did take this back cover off already. That way it was just easier for me to take off on this video just for tutorial purposes so it didn't take too long. Uh, with these factory glasses with, the, with these factory glasses <laughs> sorry with these factory glass um, when they're when they're brand new they, they're pretty tight on the back. So it would seal pretty tight with the with the glue they have from the factory. So you want to slowly work your way around. Just like that. Once we get the back cover off, I'll just get that out of the way. And then we'll go ahead and start taking out the screws. If you guys are new to this channel, feel free to like it. Hit the subscribe button and follow me guys. So S22 Ultra, of course, comes with the pen. Also on the bottom there, you'll have the SIM tray. So what we'll do is we'll eject that SIM tray there before we go ahead and proceed with the work. So what we'll do now is we'll go ahead and take these screws out. And then they have a few on the bottom as well. So we'll start with the top. And we'll go ahead and take these screws out so I'm just gonna go ahead speed this up a little bit get everything nice and quick get all the screws out and then we'll go ahead and unplug the wireless charger Go ahead and uh, start taking out the back cover. Just try to find a spot to get in. There you go. We'll go ahead and take this wireless charger off. Put that to the side. And then we'll go ahead and unplug the battery. The battery's right there. Go ahead and unclip that. And then we'll go ahead and take the speaker off. Unplug the cable for the top speaker there. And we'll go ahead and unplug these cables too, just to get them out of the way. Again, up here we got the little speaker there, earpiece. Should be the earpiece there. Go ahead and get that out of the way. I think that was an earpiece. We'll go ahead and plug that camera. Then you got one screw there. I think that might be the earpiece or the or the speaker. I'm not sure. But we'll go ahead and get this screw out. And just double check. Cable for the pen. We'll go ahead and slowly try to pry the motherboard out. And that's it right there, guys. Got the motherboard right there. Three, four cameras. Solid looking motherboard, this guy. So we'll go ahead, take out the bottom speaker here. Just try to get a find a spot, like I said, as usual. They'll just come right off. And under there, it'll expose the charger port. We'll go ahead and unplug this LCD cable. And get that out of the way. So we'll go ahead and move down here. Take out the three screws holding down the charger port. 
with all these other cables that are connected to it. Just go ahead and unscrew that. Let's go ahead and flip this around here. Let's get a little pry tool and just get the charger port out of there. Take that and then we'll move it out of the way. All right guys, so we almost got everything out of the phone. We're just gonna go ahead and get this top speaker out. Pretty sure this is a speaker. Get that screw out of there. Let me see this. Yeah, looks like a speaker. The earpiece? Oh, that's the earpiece. I'm pretty sure that's the earpiece. There she goes, put that to the side there. That's the back frame of a Samsung S22, guys. Sorry for the shake. What is that? Oh, that's nothing. So we'll go ahead and try to take that camera out. But first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go heat it up. So what, I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it to the heat pad and warm that up for a bit. Seems like there's a little gasket here or something. All right guys, so the frame's all nice and warmed up. Battery's nice and warm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this ISO I'm just gonna squeeze some in there just to loosen up the double-sided adhesive underneath. So I'm just gonna slowly work my way up and pry it up and down, up and down, just slowly letting the glue and the ISO react to each other and break, break up. So I'm just wiggling here. And then it should be loose right here. So I'll go ahead and pop the rest out and get that out of the way there. Go ahead and flatten back out the battery. So once you so once you flatten it out and then when you go to put it back on, it's nice and flush. So you just want to make sure everything's nice and flat. Now we'll go ahead and try to get this camera out. It's held down by like some like hot glue or something. So you just gotta get some tweezers and then just kind of break that hot glue off. And once you kind of break a little piece off, it usually comes off in one full piece. Just like that, guys. And then this camera will come out. And there's still that little piece of uh, hot glue there. Just peel that off. Get that camera out of the way. And then, the, like I was talking about, there's that little gasket. I'm just gonna pull that gasket out so we can transfer it over to the other frame. Got the new frame there. I'm just gonna put the gasket on, nice and flat. This is a new frame, S22. Go ahead and take the battery adhesive plastic off, and we'll go ahead and apply our battery back on there. And now we can go ahead and start putting everything back together. I'll grab that top earpiece. Pretty sure that's the earpiece. Let me know in the comments, guys, if that's the earpiece or not. I'm going by what I see now. I'm pretty sure it is. Go ahead and put the screws back in. Sure, it's nice and tight. Grab our motherboard, and then we'll move the cables out of the way, and we'll slowly set it back in its place. Make sure it's sitting nice and flush. And we'll go ahead and plug whatever cables we see back in. That one, there's the wireless pen cable. 
we'll go ahead and put our front selfie camera back in there. Make sure everything's nice and plugged in, nice and tight. And then we'll grab our charger port. We'll tuck it back into its spot right there. Grab the screws. And we'll lock them back in. If you guys are still watching, feel free to hit the like and subscribe, guys. Leave a comment, say what's up. Tell me where you're from. Let me know how my videos are doing, how the quality are, how the quality is, sorry. So we'll go ahead and plug this LCD cable back in. I already plugged the other two cables back in as well. Just kind of find it. No need to force it. Set it in its place and just push in and just make sure all your cables are nice and snug, guys. And we'll go ahead and put our bottom speaker back in. Grab the screws there and we'll just screw everything on the bottom back in. Yeah, guys, tell me how my videos are looking. Tell me if it's too close, if it's too far. Feel free to let me know so I can make better videos in the future. So we just go ahead and get these couple of bottom screws back in there. And then we'll work our way on, on the top. Just kind of line it up. Make sure my battery, make sure my battery's lined up. Try to plug her in there. Remember, guys, if the cable is not is not plugging in, don't don't force it. These these contacts on the on the main board and on on the battery or, or any component, they're very fragile. And they're very easy to bend. Once you bend them, they're basically impossible to fix. So just, just kind of take your time. Like what I'm doing right here, I'm not trying to force anything. I think the battery's sitting a little too low. So what I'll do is I'm just going to try to pry it up a little bit. Give me some slack. There we go. Now my battery should be nice and flush. Just kind of straighten it out a little bit and we'll plug her back in and that's it. Nice and plugged. Still don't know. I still don't know what this is guys. What? Oh, that's the flash. I think. Let me know if that's the flash. Yeah. There we go. We'll just plug it back in. <laughs> Look at guys, I'm fixing a phone and I don't even know what the parts are. Go ahead and get these screws back in there. Once we get those couple of screws in to hold it in place, we'll go ahead and set our wireless charger back in its place. Make sure everything is sitting nice and flush. That's why you want to make sure, guys. You want to make sure everything's sitting nice and flush before you start screwing things down, just so go, just so the screws can go in nice and straight. You don't want any screws going in sideways. So we'll go ahead and speed this up a little bit. Just bring the rest of the screws back in here. Good to go. So what we'll do is we'll turn it on. See if it works. Oh, there it is. So we'll just wait for it to turn on. While we wait for it to turn on, why don't you guys hit that uh, like and subscribe button, guys. Feel free to leave a comment. Tell me how my uh, videos are doing. Uh, yeah, just leave a comment, subscribe. Just say hi. Okay. 
it's on now guys so we just go ahead and test it real quick everything seems to work so what we'll do is we'll go ahead start putting everything back together so what I'm doing right now is I'm just cutting up some strips of adhesive I'm just gonna put them around uh, some areas around the border just so when I put my back plate back on it I have some double-sided ad adhesive to help tack it down so as you can see I'm just cutting a couple strips just putting them where I, I deem necessary I try to find the thick the spots with the thicker uh, framing around the inside so it's more adhesive maybe put a little piece on top right there too and then we should be good to go so after I apply this double-sided adhesive what I use is a, a type of glue it's called B7000 it's a liquid adhesive I basically use it on all my back glasses or anything that I need to use it for like a Google Pixel or anything that has to apply it has to use double sided tape to bond together. So I'll go ahead and take this double sided tape off. There's that B7000 I'm talking about, guys. So I'll just go ahead and run it all the way around the border of the phone. If you guys don't have this, you guys should invest in this. This is really good stuff. It dries pretty quick, too. Probably about 45 minutes will be nice and pretty dry. But I wouldn't even mind leaving it for a few hours if you can. Or even a day, just to be safe. So we'll go ahead and put this back cover back on. Make sure everything's nice and flush. And then what I'll do is I'll grab some ISO, take this microfiber cloth and just go around and wipe off the remaining adhesive that it's leaking which you don't need to put that much so it's minimal and then what I'll do is I'll grab some tape and I'll just tape it up so everything's nice and tight as I said in my other videos I know people they like to use clamps or anything like that that's fine you can use anything you like just make sure when you seal it up, there's no gaps or anything like that. Just put one here. It's good. You know, just wherever. Do as you please. It's up to you. When I wrap the tape around, I know because I can see it, it. It keeps the back plate nice and flush to the to the housing put a few more on there just to make sure all the corners and all the sides are nice and tight it looks kind of ghetto but you know it works sometimes sometimes simplicity works best we'll go ahead and put the pen back in Grab our SIM tray and put that back in too. S22 Ultra, guys. This phone's all done. Good to go. Put it to the side, let it dry. And it's back in the customer's hands. See you in the next one, guys. Peace.